Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to a new vlog. My name is Sonali. If you guys are new here, today is Tuesday and this week has been a week already. We had a very crazy Monday. I woke up with pretty not gray hair, so I wanted to do a little quick refresh and I thought I would film it for you guys because on my last vlog, I did my hair with the Dyson Airwrap round brush and somebody asked for a substitute so i'm going to share with you guys one of my new favorite hair tools honestly i kind of prefer it over the dyson air wrap because it lasts a little bit longer um, because you're not dealing with like straight wet hair um, it actually works better if you're dealing with dirty hair so this is it it is not a blow dry brush it's just like a heated round brush so it doesn't make any sound and you can see the pink part kind of just like heats up and basically it kind of sleeks your hair while giving it a little bit of a curl at the end so i just take the piece of hair brush it through and then just focus on the ends to give it that like swoop look okay doesn't even have to stay on this thing for too long and look how freaking pretty that is. I love to use this when my hair is like straight and I just need a little bit of a refresh. This is actually a tool from Amazon. I'm pretty sure it's like 40 something dollars, maybe under 40. Sometimes it goes on sale so I'm not really sure how much it is currently but this is a dupe for the Amica hot tools brush. No, Amica thermal brush. I think that's what it's called and that one's like over a hundred dollars but this one actually comes with a bunch of other attachments too that I don't personally use, but I think they it comes with like a wand and all that other stuff. So I just really like this attachment. I'm planning to film a good bit today. I'm just feeling in the mood and I feel like whenever I do get this like ounce of motivation to film and create content, I have to run with it these days because um, it doesn't, doesn't come very often, which I know you can't really base everything off of motivation, but especially when you have to kind of like be on for the camera you know you, you just don't want to film like on an off day which yesterday was definitely an off day so today we are going to get shit done so pretty hair is done and we have a little refresh going on i did put a little dry shampoo at the top because my hair is pretty greasy today i was honestly thinking about doing like a slick back bun but then i was like i want to film a tutorial on this and i feel like it's the perfect day to give my hair a little refresh so that is how I use this, and I'll have it linked on my Amazon storefront as well as in the description box. I've been meaning to show you guys one of our favorite lunches right now. It is so easy, so quick, and pretty healthy. I mean, if this isn't healthy, I don't know what the frick is. And it is a Caesar salad with, of course, chicken on it for a little added protein. And it just keeps us full for a very long time, and it's so refreshing, and we actually really love the taste. You can just find this at HEB. It is like the best thing to be invented, honestly, because it comes with, um, usually it has like some pepper, yeah, spices, the Parmesan, the Caesar dressing, the croutons, and then obviously like the leafy greens. So I'm gonna put this together. I usually just put my chicken in the air fryer like 15, maybe 20 minutes before. Um, so I'm not feeling too hungry right now. I feel like when I start getting really hungry, I don't want to wait the 15, 20 minutes and then I eat something that's like quicker and a little bit unhealthier. But anyway, so we're going to season the chicken, put a little olive oil and stick it in the air fryer. And while that's in the air fryer, First, we're watching like the Apple keynote. Starting with the Mac. I really only watch this to find out what the this new iPhone's gonna be. And they always leave it to the end. So I have to watch the whole thing, but I'm interested to see how they're gonna make it different. Chicken's done, so now we can put together the salad part. I recently got this beautiful bowl from Amazon. I'm obsessed with it. It makes just making salad way more fun. Pack it with everything in it, and then the greens. We'll do the seasonings first. I think this is very self-explanatory. I'm not really sure why I'm going in depth of explaining it to you guys, but here I am.
It's currently 5 p.m. and around this time, pretty much every day, Ryan goes to play golf. So in my mind, there's a little switch that turns on and it's like, okay, this is the time to crank out anything you need to do, film all the content you want, be creative, all the stuff. And you know what's so annoying about that is that I could be done with work right now, but I choose to like push it till five because Ryan's out of the house. And no matter how hard I freaking try to like get myself to film in the middle of the day, it just like does not happen. Um, but anyways, we are at that moment of the day where I'm cranking out so much content. Um, and I wanted to show you guys my outfit because I like just randomly threw this together and I think it looks so freaking cute. On my TikTok, I'm trying on some going out tops from Amazon. And a couple of these I've already had, but I just bought a few more. This was the one I already had and I wore it, I think maybe like two times Already. I wear nipple covers. The brand is called Cakes and I just think it's so cute and I paired it with this Princess Polly skirt that I've had for a good amount of time now and I feel like it just looks so cool. It's definitely more of a statement piece but that is why it pairs so well with this white top and then I have on my Charles and Keith little kitten heel things. I actually just got these Amazon sunglasses. They're tortoise color and they also come in black. Since I'm doing a series on going out tops, I'm just doing a little bit of content batching right now. Um, and so this is the next look. Obviously my top is from Amazon and I love this. I will say that it's a bit thin, so you do need to wear nipple covers, but other than that, it's so feminine and I really, really like the cut of it. Um, and it is a halter top, so you can tie it and adjust it on your own. I bought this bag in Venice, Italy, and it's so freaking cute. And I feel like it ties the shoes in perfectly. And then my pants are from Calvin Klein. Last but not least is my favorite freaking top ever. This is from Amazon. Like, what the heck? This is actually a dupe for the Free People corset. It is so good. I need it in other colors, especially for this, like, winter season. I love this like mocha color though, but I paired it with a Stradivarius skirt and then my shoes are from Dolce Vita. I just got done filming, it's like seven-ish. I'm cutting myself off for filming tonight. I feel like I did a lot. I think I filmed like seven TikToks, maybe a little more than that. Um, but the state that my room is in is very concerning um, because one of the videos I did was a PR unboxing, so you already know it's gonna get a little crazy in here, but also clothes are everywhere. So I definitely want to try to clean this up before the night ends, but I want to take a shower before I do that, take off my makeup, get in comfy clothes, and then we can work on this. This is what you guys don't see in the videos. Good morning, you guys. It is Thursday, and I just went to Flitch Coffee with Ryan. I used to like their matcha, but now I'm not like a huge matcha person. Whenever I get the chai, I feel like it's so watered down because they put like just so much ice in it. And I could ask for light ice, but I think I've gotten that one time and it still just tastes like a little watered down. Anyways, I wanted a beverage for this morning and I thought it would be the perfect time to use this little pumpkin creamer that I just got at the grocery store. It's a non-dairy creamer and it's pumpkin spice latte. So let's try this out. I don't really know like how to make it. Um, so we're just gonna use like a black tea bag and start from there. This is probably not the best way to make it, but I literally just put some water in a cup, put it in the microwave, make it really hot, put the tea bag in it, and then like let it brew for like, you know, maybe five minutes and then make my beverage. I don't have a tea kettle. I don't really wanna boil water over the stove for just like one drink. So this is how we're gonna do it today. It's ready to go. It's pretty hot, so I'm just going to tea bag in. This is probably like three minutes, and I feel like it's pretty dark, so I'm gonna take it out. I feel like I just want to pour this in here because it's like already pumpkin-y and probably sweet on its own, so. Oh wait, maybe I should put ice in it first. Okay, creamer. Okay, I don't know how much it works. I recently got the pumpkin chai at Starbucks and guys, it just like did not taste like pumpkin at all. So I was very disappointed. Um, so hopefully this is a little bit better and obviously it'd be cheaper if I knew how to make something that I liked at home. Honestly, I feel like my taste buds are a little bit off, but I do taste pumpkin and it's perfectly sweetened. Honestly, if I added more, it would probably would have been a little bit too much. I'd make this again, but I do like my Earl Grey tea that I make and I don't think I've made it for the vlog yet. So I need to do that soon because it's such a good and easy recipe, especially for someone who just doesn't really like the taste of coffee. I've been editing some TikToks today. I feel like the last two days I've been really good about creating content, but 
obviously I have to like sit down and edit some of them um, so I've been doing that but now I'm taking a little break because my friend Nancy got surgery and she got it on Monday I think but I didn't like want to bother her because I didn't know if like the meds would be like taking her out you know um, so I wanted to go and grab her some stuff that she might need which I honestly don't even know what she needs But I looked it up and it said like they should be eating fiber and berries So I think I'm just gonna get like an assortment of berries I'm just gonna go into H-E-B really quick and then drop it off at her house I was gonna grab Cool Whip but I feel like yogurt would actually be better because I think it said something about not having dairy so we're gonna get some of these. Also got some sour cream and obviously I had to pick up some Reese's for Ryan. The bag is secured, I got the berries and now that I'm next to a UPS, I'm gonna make a really quick return. Ryan, earlier today, he was like, you literally have not left the house in days. <laughs> and it's so funny because I didn't really like realize that until he said it. And now I'm like, oh my god, like, are, am I okay? This has been a nice little break from being cooped up. I don't even know why I'm doing that to myself. I just have literally had nothing really going on. So, like, why leave the house if I don't have to? Because I end up spending so much money when I do. My friend Kiana invited me over to do like a little arts and craft night, which I'm very excited about because I feel like I just want to be creative and be off my phone. It's very needed right now, so I think we're just gonna like draw or something. I'm not really even sure, but I wanted to make dinner earlier so I can get it done because I've been procrastinating making this meal, um, but I'm doing it today. I'm making wings. I got all the chicken right here. I don't really want to show you guys because it's a little bit jarring, not gonna lie. Um, I'm like totally fine with just like chicken thighs and chicken breasts, but seeing like all the skin on it and like, I don't know. I never like really understood why people get so grossed out from raw chicken, but now I'm like seeing it. Um, <laughs> so I'm just gonna coat them with like some seasonings. I'm going to probably air fry them and then we'll do all the sauces because I kind of want to do three sauces. I'm feeling a little adventurous, so we might do garlic parmesan. We'll just do the regular hot and then honey chipotle, which is one of my favorite flavors. So let's get to it. I season chicken the same no matter what I'm doing with it. So we're starting with garlic powder onion powder, we're doing some pink salt, some paprika. I'm mixing them all together and popping them in the air fryer. I just used the chicken setting on the air fryer itself. To make the honey chipotle sauce, I'm using these chipotle canned peppers. I'm gonna blend them up with some honey and some brown sugar and soy sauce. It turned out to be a lot more spicy than I wanted it to be, so maybe do less peppers if you want it to be a little less spicy. I also um, put some water in it to make it a little bit thinner because it was really thick. Okay, for the garlic parmesan, I just heated up some butter with some already minced garlic poured that on top and then poured some parmesan i didn't have the shredded kind so i just used this parmesan i also just used the extra butter on the garlic parmesan ones um for the hot ones i know that's probably gross but we are efficient over here okay ryan did this part he poured the hot sauce all over it here's me taking a little bite to see how hot it actually was it was not bad at all these are actually probably my second favorite that i did okay all of the wings are done i did honey chipotle garlic parmesan and just like the normal hot wings but i got frank's red hot thinking like that was you know the hot sauce to put on it but apparently i just got the hot sauce and not buffalo sauce so my bad but i guess we're just using the hot sauce but they look so good i know these are probably gonna be my favorite honestly for these two i just eyed the recipe like i looked up a recipe and then with all the measurements i definitely just eyed it but it looks so good and i also made some ranch dip we got our little art night set up. I just brought like random things. These are her pens, but I have these really cool watercolor markers that I got on Amazon and I'm excited to do that. And then I have some empty cards. Say hi. Ooh, you got your little artist smock on. <laughs> no, I was just cold. <laughs> yeah, it's actually like a perfect night to be doing this because it's like raining outside and it's just cozy. You got some music playing. show and tell. <laughs> I did it for my best friend who, other than Sonali, who is <laughs> pregnant and about to give birth and I've been really needing to send her a baby shower card because I missed her baby shower but she lives in Georgia, okay? <laughs> um, 
So I found this inspo on Pinterest. So cute. Let me get a close up. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so cute. And then on the inside, you guys don't have to read what yeah. I said. <laughs> But so I did a little tractor with peaches for Georgia because she's very nah. big Peacha Georgia's gal. I'm going to show you guys mine, but there was a little incident where the water kind of got everywhere and I was, I forgot I was like dealing with water. So I tried to put confetti to cover it up, but it doesn't really look like confetti, but we're just going to roll with it. So anyways, I'm writing the card now. Good morning, y'all. It is Saturday. I feel like I haven't vlogged in about a day or two. Um, but nothing really exciting has been going on other than just a stressful emotional roller coaster with some things going on but <clears throat> hopefully I'll get to update you guys soon. We literally have no plans this weekend. Yesterday was Friday and we just had a game night at my friend Kiana's house and we played Mexican Train and Fishbowl which was really fun but today we literally have absolutely nothing to do. We only left my friend's house at like 12 last night so we are kind of sleepy. Um, so we're just getting a little caffeine and then we wanted to go to Home Depot just to like, I don't know, look around. We literally don't even have to get anything. On Tuesday, I'm going to Florida because I'm going to a bachelorette, but my dad's like living in Florida right now. So I'm going to go visit him for a couple days and then go to my bachelorette it's in Alice Beach, which is definitely one of my favorite places on the earth. So I'm very excited to be going back and we're actually staying in Alice Beach for this bachelorette. So it's like the nice, nice houses. I'm so freaking excited. Um, but anyways, I have to like just probably try to start packing for that. Thank you. Extra ice, whole milk. <laughs> Very funny. Cheers. Try taste test. Did you ask for a vanilla? Okay, thank you. Where are we going? Wing department. What a fitting song. Mm -hmm. It's 11 11. Everyone make a wish, even though it's not 11 11 when you're watching this. Or if it is, comment. That would be so crazy. Why does this feel so wrong that there's like pumpkins out and hay bales out? It just does not feel like fall. Some folks get superstitious oh about digging up the dead. Well, I can't blame them. The things I've seen will make your skin crawl. <laughs> Similar to these juicy words I just found. See, his job ain't all bad. These worms will make a tasty snack for later. <laughs> oh, that's the big one. <laughs> we walked out to the garden section. And guys, look at this guy, what the heck? <laughs> it's gonna be a rainy day. Since it started downpouring and we were hungry, we thought we'd get some ramen tatsuya, which is like the best ramen ever. I've had Jenya in Georgia, which I think that's a chain like um, everywhere. I think there's a Jenya here maybe. And then I've had Marifuku ramen. Um, they just opened up here. But I'll tell you guys, nothing will top this broth. Um, I get the shoyu ramen, and it is so freaking flavorful. Ryan's a weird guy because he gets rice instead of noodles. For the takeout, they put like all of the dry stuff together, and then you pour the broth in, which honestly, I kind of wish it all came together because by the time I get it, I want to eat it right away, but I feel like the noodles like don't marinate in the broth, so I'm going to pour it in, let it marinate for like... 10 minutes and then eat it. Oh, it's gonna be so good. I'm kind of sad it's raining all day though because I thought we we're gonna have like a fun sunny Sunday. No, it's not Sunday, sunny Saturday. Good thing we don't have plans though. I saw people like leaving their house while it's raining. I was like, I would not wanna be doing that right now. It's just not sound fun. Okay, let's pour it. It smells so freaking good. Oh. Yum. I could just drink the broth and be fine. Okay, it's a little bit later and we are just going to walk over to a brewery. And these are our outfits. <laughs> I actually showered and washed my hair, so it's nice and blow dry. <laughs> um, my jean jacket's from A Gold Day, Skims Tank, my skirt's from Amazon, and then 
My shoes are from Suzanne. Shorts from Rosemary Beach. Shorts from Nike. I've become that girl that takes their Lululemon belt bag everywhere. It's really just so convenient. I was gonna say, I'm working there, so I've been like hanging out there. They have black bands. Oh, yeah.